What's going on YouTube? It's Paul Paul Piper and uh, tonight we're going to be doing another loose leaf chewing tobacco review. This evening it's going to be Chattanooga Chew. So let's go ahead and get started with the review here. Um, comes in a two for one. That's how you're going to find this stuff. It's a Swisher product so it's going to be packaged in one of these uh, paper boxes, cardboard boxes and it's going to be buy one get one free. So as you see uh, you've got a Chattanooga Chew loose leaf chewing tobacco premium flavor with the uh, steam locomotive in the middle and uh, on the bottom here you've got Swisher International Incorporated William West Virginia 46.5 percent domestically grown tobaccos and 53.5 percent foreign grown tobaccos. So pretty standard for loose leaf chewing tobacco. It's going to be majority uh, foreign tobacco or as Darcy over at Mud Jug says, Ebola laced dog shit tobacco. So whether or not that's true, hopefully not. Um, so you get two of these and it's the same depiction on the front and on the reverse. You've got some marketing there so I'll read that for you. Chattanooga Chew, loose leaf chewing tobacco, discover the rich taste of the past in Chattanooga Chew. Our traditional process of careful curing is what gives Chattanooga Chew its premium flavor. We specially select only the finest quality tobacco, and because Chattanooga Chew is carefully packaged in foil, you can depend on a fresh, long-lasting chew. We take great, great care to make Chattanooga Chew the finest quality chewing tobacco you can buy. And it's guaranteed, too. We guarantee moist, fresh tobacco in every package. If not satisfied, return this label and the purchase price amount for your money back. Send to Swisher International Incorporated and it gives the address. So, um, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and put a cheek in. Um, grab your favorite loose leaf chew, dip, or if you're smoking a pipe, light up a bowl with this here. Uh, this is not a resealable uh, pouch. It's a foil pouch and you just break the adhesive and inside you've got the goodness in there now as far as smell goes uh, this is pretty consistent with all loose leaf chews um, with the exception of any sort of flavored chew wintergreen or peach or whatever it is um, definitely smells like raisins, prunes molasses and tobacco that's what you're gonna get so as far as the presentation of the leaf they're again very consistent as far as loose leaf chews go gonna be a dark leaf fairly large there are some stems in this one um, but not too stemmy I never really minded stems too much Let's go ahead and load our cheek. Hold up the pouch again. We'll go ahead and let that juice up. Um, now, like I said, I've had Chattanooga Chew before. Um, it's definitely uh, not the worst loose sleep chew that you're going to find. And unlike some folks who say that there's not much of a difference, I find there's a pretty big difference. I mean, you've got really four categories of loose sleep chew. You've got, and I'm going to go from least sweet to most sweet. You've got the natural chews, things like Havana Blossom and Mail Pouch. Those are no toppings, no flavorings. It's just uh, chewing tobacco leaf. That's it. Um, then you've got uh, Levi Garrett type. And the sweet, that's how, that's how I categorize Levi Garrett. It's drier. It's drier. It's not overly raisiny or anything. It's more of a molasses sweet flavor, but dry. 
dryer. Um, and within the Levi Garrett, you know, I'm going to throw Taylor's Pride in there. Taylor's Pride is very similar to Levi Garrett. And then you're going to have the Red Man traditional, even though the non-flavored uh, chews are actually what should be considered traditional. They're the more historic ones, the ones that don't have any flavor, any topping, anything. Those are the oldest types. Because loose leaf chew started out as just cigar clippings. So they would make cigars and they would cut to make the cigar. They would cut parts of the leaf off. It'd fall on the factory floor. They'd sweep that shit up and they'd put it in a little pouch and sell it as uh, cigar clippings to be chewed. Um, but anyway, Red Man, Beech Nut, um, that's the traditional raisin, prunes, uh, uh, very sweet, somewhat bitter as well because of the, just the tobacco itself, um, that class. And then you've got the flavored, um, I guess exotic, I guess I would say, peach flavorings, beech nut wintergreen, um, and then whatever the hell Stoker's puts out. Stoker's has a bunch of different flavors. So that's your flavored chews. So really there's four, I think, um, categories of loose leaf chew. They're not all the same. Chattanooga chew would go uh, in the red man, but I think it's going to be a little bit not right in let red man. It's not as juicy. Um, it's not as strong. It's going to be closer to Levi Garrett. So slightly off of Red Man, in between Red Man and Levi Garrett, I think. Uh, the flavor is unique. Chattanooga Chew is uh, uh, kind of very similar to Bowie. I mean, they're both made by Swisher. Um, they're both same price, come for two for one. And I think that they're very, they've got a unique flavor. Um, I always think of like Dr. Pepper, uh, with Bowie being a stronger Dr. Pepper flavor than Chattanooga Chew. Uh, Chattanooga Chew is a little bit uh, more mild in that respect. So, all in all, not a bad chew. Um, definitely, if you're on a budget and uh, you know you just want to pick up a uh, a good quality chew at a good price and then pick up some Chattanooga chew or really any of Swisher's loose leaf chewing tobacco um, there are much worse ones out there Morgan's comes to mind Trophy uh, you know things like that the 100% foreign tobacco economy chews some of those aren't worth chewing and they're not to me um, and sorry if that happens to be one of your everyday chews and your favorites. Uh, to me, they're horrible. This is not horrible. Um, you know, is Red Man better? I believe I Garrett better. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, but not far off. Not far off. So, anyway, let me know what you think of Chattanooga Chew. Tell me in the comments. Have you had it before? Do you like it? What flavors like pop out? Or do you think it's all the same? I'd be interested to know that. So, um, until next time, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, I'll see you. It's been Paul Paul Piper. Take care.